all the headlines these days as even long tenured programs like Texas, Oklahoma, SC have found new homes elsewhere. Q Florida State University, whose president says leaving the ACC is a matter of when, not if. I believe that FSU um, will have to, at some point, uh, consider very seriously leaving the ACC unless there were uh, a radical change to the revenue distribution. Our goal would be to continue to stay in the ACC. And we bring in the mouth of the South, Paul Feinbaum. Paul, great to see you. How's summer going, Paul? It's going great. It's it, it's great to see you, Molly. I'm I, I've just had my dot my eyes dilated about an hour ago, so I'm not sure what I'm seeing sitting oh. next to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Long time no see. How you been? I am. I have been great. Uh, I've missed both of you very much. Same yeah, here. It's great Same to here. have you back, and we'll be seeing a lot of you now because we're inching closer. Paul, tell me <laughs> this: when we're talking about the conference realignment, should FSU live the uh, excuse me leave the ACC? Well, I think they telegraphed that they're going to, if they can. Molly, it's not simple, but what you heard there from the president is extraordinary. Uh, you're talking about a member of a league that just a couple of years ago agreed to a grant of rights deal, a television deal, that took them to 2036. FSU signed off on it. And now you have the president saying, you know what? We don't like it. We want out. I mean, he put a for sale sign in front of his university yesterday. And the problem they have, though, they can't get a radical uh, redistribution. That's not possible because you also have Clemson in that league, uh, Mr. President. I hate to break it to you, but you're not the you're not the epicenter of the ACC. Clemson is. And what, what I think is going on with all this movement, they are trying to find a, an exit strategy right now. It would cost them at least one hundred and twenty million dollars and then still possible litigation to get out of the, the current deal. Wow. But they're hoping to get some support from Clemson, uh, maybe North Carolina, maybe Miami. There are not a lot of happy people in the ACC because with the shifting tides, with the, with the SEC and the Big Ten becoming the two super conferences, and now the Big 12 moving ahead of the Pac-12 and the ACC. Right now, the ACC is the fourth best conference, and Florida State and Clemson want no part of that. Paul, educate me and our viewers about this, just listening to what you just said. First of all, what real tangible assistance would Clemson and North Carolina State provide to Florida State that could ultimately facilitate them getting their wishes, A, and B, should Clemson be the program that wants out of the ACC even more than Florida State? First of all, Stephen, I believe Clemson does want out of the ACC. It has become problematic for, for Dabo Sweeney and Florida State and Miami and others to compete against the SEC. I know some people right. are saying, well, yeah, you're the SEC mouthpiece. I'm not, I'm not saying it. The, the ACC coaches are saying that to people. They, they can't, I mean, they may win some battles, but they're losing most of the battles against the Nick Sabans and the Kirby Smarts. And, and now you have Ohio State, Michigan, uh, and, and Southern Cal. So they need to do something. But, they, but since that, I, I laid it out a minute ago, they can't. Uh, if enough of them uh, decide, you know what? We're done with the ACC. It would force the ACC's hand. But right now, the ACC has to try to figure out a survival plan. And sing, singing Kumbaya, which is all the commissioner has done so far, will not be the answer. But, but Stephen A., if you, if you look at Clemson and Florida State, there are no two better fits in the, in the world to the, AC, to the SEC than those two. Uh, I mean, they, they, they've won national championships in the last 10 years. They recruit at the highest level. They have good coaches. They have phenomenal traditions. And uh, they're both in states uh, with SEC schools. I totally agree with you there. And I got to tell you something right now. I would love, I would love, I'm not sold on Mike Norville yet, but he did finish with a 10-3 and three season last year. But I will tell you that Dabo Sweeney in the SEC it, it would be Ooh. phenomenal, no question about it. Dabble's up, uh, Dabble, my man Dabble. Uh, but but let me transition to the Pac-12 because, I, I mean, USC, UCLA, and and now you're hearing about Washington and Oregon possibly going. I mean, it, 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 Colorado obviously with prime time Deion Sanders, even though he don't have much to do with that. That's the university making that call and what have you. It is a mess in the Pac-12. At least it seems to be that way. 
Is that even a conference anymore, as far as I'm concerned? I know that's a somewhat rhetorical question, but it just seems like everybody is looking to run the hell out of there. They seem to be in worse shape than the ACC. Oh, they're in worse shape than anyone right now, Stephen. Uh, Stephen, I, I don't know if they'll be around. Uh, I mean, I mean, you're talking about a league that is floating away and, and you can't stop it. And Arizona, the University of Arizona is having a board meeting later on. Uh, I, why, why, what, what have they heard that would encourage them to want to stay? The commissioner the other day presented a television plan. And no disrespect to Apple. Hey, uh, we, we've all got iPhones, OK? But if, if Apple streaming is your best option while the Big Ten has three networks, Fox, CBS, and NBC, and the SEC is uh, about to be married exclusively to ESPN, and Apple <laughs> is your best option. And not only that, it's not like Apple's coming in and saying, you know, we're offering you uh, tens of uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. They're saying, depending on how many people sign up, Stephen A., how many choices do you have to sign up for streaming services? Who in their right mind would sign up to watch all, to watch uh, Washington State and Oregon State on a Saturday night? Nobody, because Oregon and Washington are desperate to get out. Uh, we may see as many as three more go in addition right. to Colorado if Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah go. Remember, UCLA and USC are already gone after this year. Uh, somebody just turned the lights out. This, this league is done. I remember a couple of years ago, Paul, when we were talking about college football and we got to a point where most folks in the nation were, you know, bloviating about how it's just really about the big five conferences and that's about it and everybody else can just be able to waste our play your games or whatever, but it really comes down to the big five. It's got to a point now, Paul, I'm looking at the big two. I'm looking at the SEC and the yeah. big ten. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.